Good morning guys, we're here today at the Yorkshire Event Centre in Harrogate for the inaugural and very special Yorkshire Comic Con. It's going to be a fantastic day today, there's plenty of celebrities inside. We have James Masters and Charisma Carpenter from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Danny Glover from Loaded, Loaded, <laughs> Lethal Weapon fame, um, Zach Galligan from Gremlins, um, and many, many more. John Cleese. There's tons of vendors inside, lots of props, lots of replicas, Stranger Things, Ghostbusters, and there's going to be a phenomenal amount of cosplay as well. Um, this is a childless event for myself and Lucy. This is something that we're into more than the little one, so it's very exciting to be out doing something like this. It's going to be a fantastic day, so let's go inside. We're also being joined today by our little friend. We'll make sure we'll get him home before midnight. But, seeing as the main person that Lucy's here to see is Zach Galligan, we've brought along our little friend Gizmo. Say hi Gizmo. And Johnny Five is here with us as well. One of the many props that's here at Yorkshire Comic Con. Do you want a photo? And look who we have here. Johnny Five himself from Short Circuit. Amazing props. And this place is going to be full of props all over the place. Um, as I mentioned in the intro, we've got uh, the Ecto One from Ghostbusters. You have plenty of Stranger Things sets, including the Scoops Ahoy. Again, we have plenty of prop replicas. We've got the Hobbit Hole. We have, you might recognise this, what's this over here? That's the Psycho Couch. The Psycho Couch. And we also have um, plenty of things over here. And apparently, also, we have Toothless the Dragon over here one of the main props here is the psycho couch and oh that's a lovely flamethrower you've got i think it makes you look good absolutely amazing prop replicas here today are you uh joining miyagi though so we have the miyagi door and cobra kai set replicas here really well done and I think uh, I'll be getting a photo here the set replicas are absolutely excellent even down to the broken Mr Miyagi uh, picture which got damaged when uh, Cobra Kai attacked Miyagi Do oh. absolutely fantastic cosplay brilliant absolutely brilliant that guys <laughs> Oh, real. Look at this, absolutely, everyone is absolutely fantastic, well done. And as you can see, the immortal, Danny Glover. You know, some people may think, some people may not like my idea, you know. Some people may disagree with me with an idea. Lucy's excitedly now running over to the Scoops Ahoy set. It really is excellent. Are you going to sing the song? No. <laughs> it really is absolutely fantastic and even got a little bit of a seating area out here as well. Go on. They don't look very pleased to see you. Is the Ecto One? It's actually, uh, it's pretty amazing just how big it is. I never expected it to be the size that it is, but it's absolutely giant, isn't it? The Hopper's car from the Hawkins Police Department in Stranger Things, which is uh, substantially smaller than the Ecto One. Thank you. 
Bless him. An absolute legend in um, Lethal Weapon. An absolutely fantastic actor. It's brilliant. And there you see Danny Glover. Predator getting his groove on. See, I bet you never thought you'd ever see Captain Jack Sparrow, Superman and Predator getting the groove on together. Although I'm sure Jack's had enough rum. See, I think we should have a, a new queen on Tatooine, eh? <laughs> See, one of the things that I think is absolutely fantastic here, um, geeks, nerds, um, super fanboys, whatever you want to call us, you'd be amazed at just how completely respectable uh, they are of everything going on around you. I mean... We, I, I didn't get on camera, but we've just been walking around and talking to Lucy. I turned around and pretty much walked straight into James Masters. Um, let out some sort of fanboy squee. Um, he said hello, wondered on. And then we've just been watching Danny Glover up on stage once he's finished. Um, Danny's come down and just walked through the crowd, but there's no one here bothering him. There's no one jumping on them for pictures. It really is a fantastic, respectful environment. And even if I flip the camera around, see, this is the open hall where all of the autographs are taking place. You've got Game of Thrones characters, Zach Galligan, you've got um, Spike and um, Cordelia, or Charisma Carpenter and James Masters from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. They're all around here and as you can see people are just politely walking around um, waiting the turn to go up and meet them there's no one just pushing the way in um, it really really is a respectful environment and it's really nice to be here somewhere like this everyone's just super polite and super nice it really really was a uh, fanboy squee though when I uh, bumped into James Masters because it was just so unexpected Full of amazing props here as well. We've got Jamie Lannister's golden hand. Some dragon glass, one of the only things that can kill white walkers. The mountain's helmet. Needle. Shame. Shame. Some of these, absolutely brilliant. Look at these. Now those will just look fantastic in my living room. And here we are, is this, um, I believe this is Daenerys Targaryen's throne. <laughs> so much fantastic stuff. They really have done well for, oh look at this. The Hound's Helmet, that is brilliant. They've really done well. What they've got here um, for the inaugural event is just absolutely fantastic, really impressive. And look, Long Claw. You know nothing. <laughs> which is my really poor Northern impression of Jon Snow, which is terrible considering I am Northern anyway. Oh, wow. Oh, that wow. is amazing. <laughs> Look, see, see what we mean about how brilliant and polite this event is. It's fantastic. If I step back so we can get her in camera. It's quite heavy actually. She's, uh, she's trying to be uh, ruler of the Seven Kingdoms. <laughs> Got your uh, Daenerys Targaryen vibes going on there. Yeah. So... This is the Hall 2 setup, and this is primarily where all of the um, celebrity things are done. So, as you can see, at the end of Hall 2, 
is where we have all of the autograph signings. So you've got the Hello Hello cast over there, and as you can see, the big queue is for Danny Glover, James Masters, and Charisma Carpenter from Buffer. Over here on this side, we have Zach Galligan, John Cleese, and the cast from Game of Thrones. It's just, it's really strange to me, we've got Gabriel Luna over here. It's really, really strange to me that um, there's so many celebrities just so close. And again, I, I know I keep saying this, but people are so respectful. There's no one jumping all over them, shouting out the names. They're just here, just being so respectful. So, uh, here we are. We're uh, in the line to get an autograph from Zach Galligan himself. And who's he going to sign? He's going to sign Gizmo. You excited? Like yeah. <laughs> Look at the smile on her face. <laughs> this is uh, officially what 1980s fangirl looks like. Oh, can you uh, not wipe the smile off your face? <laughs> Hey, look. Absolutely pleasant. Ghost Rider himself. <laughs> Hello. Sorry, do you mind if I film her while she's getting it signed? I usually do it here. Do you want it on the back? Or do you, I mean, it comes great. Uh, no, you are right, love. that? Oh, no. A different one I can, uh... You should work now. I think you've got people fast now. Yeah, go, darling. This lovely to meet you as well. Big question. Always. Well, you know, we have the animated series that just came out in the last 10 days in the States on HBO Max, and it's doing really, really well. Ah, there we go. Um, so, you know, if that, if that continues then you're much, much more likely to get a Gremlins 3. So, it's, let's put it this way, we're closer to it now than we've ever been. She's acting really, really cool. She's a massive fan girl. <laughs> desperate to come here all day. Lovely to meet you, by the way. Nice to meet you too. I can't believe how polite everyone is. I, I imagined all of the celebrities were going to be behind closed doors and ushered out. But you're all just walking around and everyone's so polite. It's a really well, nice environment. It's a, very, it's a very chill event. Yeah. You know, like, when they're a bit more and chaotic yeah then everyone sort of gets a little you get a little freakier because it's like I don't know just the vibe is so English countryside yeah well we are we, yeah. we love us cues we love to uh, come <laughs> yeah. and be polite yeah. well really lovely to meet you yeah. you're excited aren't you I am I'm I sure am. we'll come again we've got a photo off with you later on so Great. we will meet you again uh, so I'll see you then <laughs> see you then nice Cheers. to meet you lovely thank Cheers. you yeah. you excited <laughs> nice here he is the signed gizmo from Zach Galligan. They do say you should never meet your heroes, but uh, at this event, I'd say that's uh, that's complete nuts because it was just such a polite and nice gentleman. Took the time to stand and talk with us. You weren't ushered along. The queues weren't even very very big. It was just it was really really uh, really nicely done. It was super polite, um, and I'm. I'm not as big of a fan as almost dropped the phone. I'm not as big as a fan as Lucy is, um, but to see that the the effort that he put into um, speaking with Lucy, taking the time with her, um, it's really really good to see and well worth the money. Definitely, they paid a lot more for that experience. Not to mention, you heard it here first, Gremlins Three. Which apparently, now that there's the animated series, there's a lot more chance. So, if you're an 80s fan and you're wanting it, get hit in the forums, get hit in the internet, make as loud a chatter as you can, and hopefully, we can get uh, Gremlins 3 off the ground. We well, even a uh, Comic Con brings in all kinds of uh, guests. Bumblebee's even showing up. Are you going to go? Oh, we've got R2 and. I think it's R5, is it R5? Did his motor there break? Look at that. Jabba. Go on, get yourself. I'd watch it, he'll grab you. 
He's cheeky that one. You can even take your very own lightsaber class. Do a bit of lightsaber training. And just look here, this is Saturday afternoon and I know this is the inaugural event so uh, it might just take a couple of years to get established but look at the queue lines, there is, the, there's none, it's a really chilled out relaxed event, there's no pushing, there's no shoving, it is really really good. So you do get a chance to experience absolutely everything. Now this is my style of artwork, look at those. I love uh, the zombified kind of things. And look, even over here for you, Lou, the Terrifier. You've got um, Pennywise over in the corner. They look, uh, look good on his living room wall, just saying. And a sweet treat as well to... Uh, pull your blood sugar up after you uh, fangirl out at James Masters. For Joe and Murray, your cast of Game of Thrones, left, everybody. Yay. Thank you so much. Keep it going for Joe and Murray. Go say hello over in the celebrity area. Thank you guys so much. Again, um, with the celebrities just hanging around with uh, all of us common folk, we just went to get the picture of Lucy and Zach, which we weren't allowed to film in, and uh, quite respectfully didn't film. Uh, absolutely fine. As we came out of the door, just standing in front of us, chilling out, Gabriel Luna. Um, Lucy completely oblivious, so she just stands next to Gabriel, looking at a picture of Zach, and she's like, "This is amazing," <laughs> and Gabriel's like, "Yeah, yeah, it's all right." Yeah. <laughs> Really, really, uh, really fantastic environment. Now, just about to go on is the Masquerade Ball. But, uh, just again, walking past us, it's just Zach Galligan. I just, I can't believe how much of a relaxed environment it is and how much respect people are giving the celebrities here. Um, but as I was mentioning, now is the cosplay masquerade where all of the people that have entered the masquerade in the championships uh, will be appearing for us to take a look at. So let's have a film and see what it's like. Got any uh, cigarette ends left in there? Or any waffle? And there you go. If you want to see more of the uh, car hire, visit them on Instagram.
amazing stuff there, Mario. Well. They're all... Something you wish. SpongeBob SquarePants. They flop on the deck and flap like a fish. SpongeBob Put together. SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. Right guys, so we're here in Hall 1. Now Hall 1 is primarily where you'll find most of the traders and vendors um, selling a huge variety of um, Funko Pops, um, handmade wooden items, pictures, um, signed frames, um, memorabilia, t-shirts, you name it, it's all here. And there's some fantastic stuff and obviously it's all um, geek based. So even the chopping boards over here, there's chopping boards which are designed with um, Pennywise, Freddy, and Ghostface on. Some really good stuff and we'll show you them as we walk around. Well, okay, we can see, I particularly like the, uh, the Freddy chopping board there. But yeah, a huge amount of wooden items here, all brilliantly made. So one of the things I like about coming to uh, places like this is that a lot of these vendors you'd never know actually existed until you do come to somewhere like a Comic Con, like, um, you know, we've got this Dead Cats Club, seem to sell sort of Halloween clothing and things, really, really good stuff, but you would have never known that they were here. <laughs> things like this. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant, and this is Katie and Bones. And as I say, certain vendors I would have never known were here until you actually come to a place like Comic Con, where you eventually stumble across them. Um, you will be able to get these kind of things online, uh, but it's great coming here and learning of these vendors firsthand and seeing the kind of things that they do. I like these. These are a great idea. So you got framed pictures along with figurines in there. It's a really good idea. And at £20 each as well. It's a really good deal. Some really unique items. I like how some of the items are just full on um, comic book. A lot of them you'd be able to frame and put them into any living room and sort of fill your house and your home with uh, amazing geeky items without people really knowing that they are that geeky. Smack bang in the middle of halls one and two, you also have the Yorkshire Cafe which is offering a range of um, sandwiches, hot meals, drinks, cakes. Um, got ourselves a nice hot pork loin sandwich, so we're just going to sit down, have a bite to eat, before we uh, move on to the next bit. And here's the uh, hot roast pork loin and stuffing sandwich, which is around 12 to 15 pound, I think, when you include the fries, so a bit on the pricey side. seemingly is Spike or James Masters from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. See everywhere you turn there's new things to do as well. You've got a whole section of retro video games which you can sit down and play. Old SNES games like The Simpsons, X-Men, Turtles, Robocop. Just sit down, have a play, no cues. Just get yourself set up, really fantastic things to do. And he is alive, look at this. Johnny Five from Short Circuit. He is alive. 
Look at these, these are fantastic. This is a place called Bespoke Come On. Look at these. 59. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, 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 I will do. Yeah, yeah. Some amazing things available to purchase. Oh, now that is brilliant. I don't know if you can see it, the um, gentleman from Buffy. A great episode, but also an absolutely fantastic item. We've just been to a vendor on the inside called Dean of the Dead Hot Sauces, where we've picked up um, a Shriek in Tongues, which is a cherry cola and habanero flavoured barbecue sauce. Now, I just put a dot of this stuff on top of uh, like a Dorito chip and tried it. This was about 10 minutes ago, and the back of my throat is still on fire. This stuff is really, really hot. But the flavour is absolutely fantastic. As someone that hates heat, this stuff is really, really good. Um, so I've picked up a couple of them. It's going to last me a hell of a long time because I'll only be putting a drop on everything. Uh, but these kind of things, as I mentioned earlier in the vlog, you don't find these kind of things when you're just looking around anywhere. It's not until you come to an event like this that you stumble across these. Um, and then you can go online. Again, if you want to go online and have a look at these, it's deanofthedead.com. Um, and be able to order yourself some, but really, really good. Just while we're having a little break outside as well, um, it's worth mentioning that this event is put and brought, oh, sorry, put on and brought to you by Monopoly Events. Now, Monopoly Events are, are really, really great in terms of what they do around the country. They do Liverpool Comic Con, Manchester Comic Con, various Comic Cons throughout the country. Uh, they bring the absolutely fantastic um, for the love of horror and for the love of sci-fi events, which are on yearly. Um, really, really good at what they do. Uh, they've put on a really, really good event here today. Um, so if you like this kind of event and you want to do this kind of thing, um, go on, have a look at the website. It'll be Monopoly Events um, and just see what they do because they really, really are. There's one of the, the smaller um, events organisers when you compare them to MCN um, and people like that. But I think because they are that ever so slight bit smaller, there's a lot more passion that goes into these events. They're not big corporate events. You can tell there's a real love um, for what they do. So give them a look, support them, come along to one of their events. Guarantee you'll love it. Right guys, so that's us for today at Yorkshire Comic Con's inaugural event. Um, it's been a really, really fantastic day. I'm really surprised at just how good it's been. Um, we expected it to be good anyway, because it's all things geek, which is what we love. But just the how the event went off, um, how polite and friendly and respectful everyone's been. Just the atmosphere here has been utterly, utterly fantastic. Um, that I, I can't really name a standout thing that's happened today. Um, Lucy's obviously got to meet uh, someone that she's been wanting to meet for years in Zach Galligan. Um, we've got Gizmo signed. Um, we've been around all of the props, all of the replicas. Um, we've really, really enjoyed it. Have you enjoyed yourself today? It's been a fantastic day. Uh, I mean, one thing I do have to uh, sort of mention that I found really, really refreshing is there's a, a gent behind me, Gabriel Luna. Um, this guy's walking round, he's speaking with, with everyone, regardless of whether they're paid or not. Um, he seems like an absolute true diamond, and the next time I come to one of these events, I think I'm definitely going to be, uh, be looking to meet him, and I'm going to go home and give The Last of Us a try tonight, so, so well done, good promotion. Um, and with that being said, that's us for today, and we'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.